Hello everybody and welcome back to the final frame between myself and Ad at Rope for a Q. So the current score is 3-0 to myself and hopefully you watch those first three frames. Can Ad win this last one to take it 3-1 because each frame is worth points in the, in the little league standing across the day so first real opportunity and I've managed to flick that red in element of safety in that one going up the other end of the table now opting to go full guns blazing for the yellow Oh, hello, hello. I'm getting a little bit technical here. I've got a rest on the spider. So I just made sure of the pot on that one. Because I can't remember if the black goes. I'm having a long look at it. So yeah, just taking that pink to the middle, that's going to tie the pink up. I think it's going to go in amongst the bunch. Well, it was until I noticed that the green was off of its spot. So it's going to go up the other end of the table. I've left myself a nice angle on this particular red to take me up to the blue. Well, that is the plan anyway. And that one's worked out quite nicely. What's the plan going forward? Oh yes, playing down for a choice of two reds, either the one to the right of the cue ball or the one that's at the top of <coughs> excuse me, the cluster. But this one again gives me an angle to go back up for the blue off the side cushion. Uh, played that one. Played that one relatively nicely with an element of caution of going up for potentially for a bulk colour. I just wanted to make sure that I was definitely high on the blue. And that was a bit of a wild one because I was trying to get the cue ball in amongst everything. And the Ad's just caught the jaw, which means that ball was not going in. But where I've missed the blue by so much, we now have a situation where the really the only balls available are the yellow and the brown. So oh, where the cue ball didn't go exactly where I wanted it to go, my opportunity to get the green away from the pink and blue to make those possible, and also to leave it difficult for Ad and is he oh, I thought that red was going to go in off the other one then for a moment but instead he's played a very very nice snooker so what I'm going to try and play here the intended shot is side cushion top cushion and hit the red next to the pocket from behind I'm not trying to pot it so actually what's happened there is kind of what I had in my head that I wanted to play so I'm very happy with that one I know it means I've left this one for out to the middle and he's absolutely spanked that one in the middle pocket there hasn't he that's a brilliant pot now how's his luck been on a colour he was, was on the green it's a tough one though with the with the queuing from near the cushion. I'm not going to try and pot this and hold for the black because I need to leave myself a bl Oh my good. Oh. Um, mm. The less said about that one, 
the better. Moving on. <laughs> oh, God. Right, come on, Ed. Let's see you put a couple of balls, mate. Now, is he going to drop this black in for the red to the left corner? Or is he going to try and get into the cue ball and play for one of the three reds around the pink spot? I think that was a sensible option there. And oh, <clears throat> that's so difficult to judge the bounce off, uh, off these particular cushions. But he's got rid of that black very nicely as well. So good 16 thus far. Right, what can I do to extend my lead in this frame? I'm only a point in front at the moment. But Brown doesn't go past the pink. So I was I was playing out for the yellow. Yeah, the blue's in the way of playing this one properly, so can I just stun this yellow in and hold for that red to the left middle? I can't. Having a, having a look at the, the QN and see what it's doing, but it obviously wasn't doing the right thing at the, that moment. And that was mighty close. Now, if you can hear a rustling in the background, this is my dog running around in the leaves chasing a tennis ball. <coughs> Okay, so I've managed to get that red in the middle. Now, can I dispatch the pink, get that back closer to its spot or on its spot, unless that red is occupying it? So now, playing for a choice, those reds. And yep, yeah, I'm on this bottom one. So, if I just run this through with top, I should move those two reds away from the pink like that and on the pink to the middle now they're quite close together and this angle is a bit more acute than I wanted I know it looks like I'm playing it fairly straight but it's always a little bit of a nightmare when they're that close and I was just sent it to the near jaw that didn't roll off or anything that was that was bad aiming on my part and I've left out this red. So he's just going to play for the pink off of this one. And probably come across the table for a choice, those two. Okay. Does that one go? I was going to say, does that one go past the green? But he's, he's played the one closer to the cushion. And got the white in a respectably safe place and I'm going to attempt to get behind the blue off of that one but I think I was always clutching at straws there there wasn't much room between blue and cushion and unfortunately for Ad he's missed that red not by very much. He only wanted a thin contact to avoid the in-off. And me, I'm trying to get the white up somewhere behind the blue. Which is where it's gone. I've left a, not even a half chance here, it's a quarter chance. And with the red that's closest to the middle that right middle is actually past the potting angle so I don't want to leave that one on so I was just trying to leave the cue ball in a position that makes life difficult for my opponent oh. 
And I, just, I don't think either of us could have foreseen that flu going in. Which was very, very unfortunate for Ad. Yeah, just have a think about this. What do I want to do with the cue ball on and off the cushion? Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, it should have come at least another couple of ball rolls down the table just to make this brown a doddle. Or rather, to make the positional shot a lot easier. But I've managed to put it in a position where I can just flick this red in and hopefully go off a couple of cushions and be out for a colour again. Yes, it would have been well, it would have been lovely to have been just off straight but high on the blue. I could have then just dropped it in or punched it in and then had the red into the opposite middle but the green was there. Now can I send this red into the green pocket? I can actually that one was cued very nicely. No point trying to hold for the yellow, that was never going to happen. So I played it on and off the cushion, and the intention there was to try and stay on that yellow into the right middle because it does not go past the green. So just a safety shot here, unfortunately. I didn't judge it, the pace coming off the blue and the cushion very well. So I'm going to try and send the yellow. I am going to send the yellow between the brown and the green and I'm going to send the white between the green and the side cushion and hopefully not get a double kiss. Would have been nicer had the yellow not made contact with the blue. But it does mean that there's 27 points the difference with 27 on that yellow's gone very very close <coughs> it's sitting in the jaws of the pocket but the blue and the pink or rather the pink is covering potting angle but is there a gap between blue and pink there is and I could hit the yellow but that was about <laughs> that was about the only line that I could have taken through the blue and the pink so uh, I'm just happy to have got out of that snooker in such an easy fashion I know it's left the pot on but yes I'm glad I just didn't give away four points at that juncture The thing green has eluded that, unfortunately. It's left me this awkward rest shot with the green a little bit off the cushion. And with being in front with the, the same points as what is remaining on the table, it's difficult to judge whether or not to go for pots um, firmly and if you do go for them firmly and you miss they then sort of wobble and come away or do you play them delicately to drop them in to make sure that you then go to snookers required for your opponent but then you run the risk of leaving the ball in the jaws for them to come and clear up and then possibly take it to a black ball respot. Uh, but that last green there, mm, answers on a postcard, really don't know what I was doing there. And unfortunately for Adam, he's, he's hit the wrong side of the green and he's sent the white into the pocket. So now he needs a snooker to tie this fourth frame.
He's put the green in a good position. All that needed was the cue ball to have another couple of ball rolls of pace in it, and I would not have been able to uh, hit that green. That was a very, very good attempt. Now, what can I do with this? Can I knock this green in? Trust in the table. Yes, it was absolutely plumb dead straight. I didn't want to hit that with any pace because otherwise the white would have gone in after it. Um, I think that was poor aiming rather than the table rolling off, to be fair. And it's, it's a bit of a big flick on the pink, which means I can actually hit this green. Otherwise I might have been in a lot of trouble. So I'm trying to hold the white behind the brown. Not that, not that I need snookers, but it's always a good thing if you're in front to then lay one yourself. But from the cushion, look at that for a pot. That is fabulous queuing there. going to take some fabulous queuing on this one as well to either play the pot or a snooker. So I'm going to try and cut this in the green pocket or send it over towards the yellow pocket. No. Send it towards the green. In or over for me at this stage. So there's another ball off the table. So 20, is that going to be 22 points of difference? What's the scoreboard? Yeah, 22 points of difference with 18 on. So just the one snooker required with the blue on the table now. And with the blue, the way it's rolled off of the middle bump. He has actually got me in a snooker. So any yes, hello Tilly, I know. So yes, that was any sort of contact on that blue. And I might have left it, but that doesn't... I don't really mind that. If Ad pots this, it means he's putting all of his eggs in one basket of getting that snooker behind the black off of this pink. Can I just drop this one in? I can. So there's the handshake, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's what I suggest that the game was more one sided than it actually was. Uh, thank you for the game, Matt, and good luck in your last game. And my next one coming up is going to be against Steve at Snooker's Burden Trophy. Uh, for now, everybody, take care.